that gleaming new paint rolling into the St. Cloud Clearwater RV park is as common as mosquitoes at a Minnesota cookout. Actually, these five are all brand new. Scott Shane and his friends are among those fueling record sales for the RV industry. I think seven of our friends bought new ones this year. That one just got picked up at Pleasureland yesterday. I've been with uh, Pleasureland for 12 years. Vinnie Binfeld is sales manager at Pleasureland RVs. Oh, it's been just, it's been insane. From a 2009 recession low of just over 165,000 units, national RV sales are expected to top 472,000 this year, an all-time high. From where we're at then to where we're at now, it, it is, it's amazing. Low gas prices, low interest rates, low unemployment, all contributing to demand. This is the MPG by Cruiser RV. Plus, new features like this outdoor second kitchen, king size bed, and fireplace in this moderately priced trailer. You know, you're going to be able to sleep eight to ten people in here real comfortably. Features appealing to millennials having children who never before pictured themselves driving something like this. No, you, I, I don't know that that's something the typical person pictures. So it'll be $20. Campgrounds are filling up. We had to turn a lot of people away last weekend. Mm -hmm. And this weekend too. We wanted the center island. Missy Shane's new family purchase typifies both the trend and the attitude. It's home away from home. I'd actually rather live in my camper than my house. <laughs> In the first quarter of this year, RV shipments were up 12% from last year, and last year was considered a banner year. The biggest gains, large and mid-sized motorhomes, with sales up in those categories more than 30% over last year. I would not have guessed that millennials were into buying RVs. I think that's such an interesting story. And we were talking in the break that I said, I'm surprised they're not renting them more, because they don't seem to be a generation that likes to buy things and commit to something. Yeah, but oh yeah, but rentals are way up too. Yeah, they, they, they can't keep enough rentals in stock for a big weekend like this. And that's partly being driven by millennials as well. Yep. Oh, interesting. Thanks, Boyd. You bet. Well, as we